We gotta get into baseball because you know I'm a little upset. You know, because I feel like my oh, team, man. my team got robbed. You know, the past <laughs> two seasons. Now, now I'm I'm invested in this whole thing, this, this whole scandal that's been going on surrounding the, the Houston Astros, where everybody's getting fined, suspended. Guys got to step down from their job. We losing draft picks. Yeah. They got they got they got they, they got undisclosed tapes that may or may not come out. It's a whole yeah, lot. It's it's more layers <laughs> to this. Thing. It's some more layers to this. You know. So you got Eric. You can leave this one off. <laughs> um. So just a quick recap. Um, it was brought to Major League Baseball's attention that the Astros had a very sophisticated way of stealing signs from the catcher. Mm -hmm. um, what they were doing was using a center field camera, which was then relaying the feed to the clubhouse, which then they would relay to the batter. It sounds very complex until you kind of see a video of it. And then, <laughs> no, I, I'm going to be honest, because my initial reaction to it was like, somebody, I grew up playing baseball, and I understand that from the time that the pitcher sets himself to, to pitch, yeah. Till the ball gets on plate, you're talking a matter of seconds. Yeah. Right. So how can so, you? So right, it, it sounds <laughs> very like there's no way you could do this until you see that they were actually making noises in the dugout before the pitcher would even pitch to yeah. kind of tip off whatever the pitch was. Uh -huh. So they they had some. Like if I knock four times to right, the right, they had that a, means they had a, it's a, a fastball. They if had I knock almost like a <laughs> trash can system where it was yeah. like two bangs is a curveball, no bangs is a fastball. Oh, wow. So it was it was sophisticated in a way, like I said, because they were able to do it so fast. Yeah. Um, you, you, somebody was working on this. Right. <laughs> so as it stands right now, the Houston Astros manager has lost his job, mm -hmm. um, along with a year-long suspension from Major League Baseball. The general manager has lost his job, along with a year-long suspension from Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. And then the trickle-down effect was the Boston Red Sox manager, Alex Cora, who was on the Houston uh, Astros staff in 2017, has lost his job. Mm -hmm. He's facing possibly a longer suspension because the, the report states he was the mastermind behind this whole idea. Right. And yeah. he kind of came up with the whole concept. Uh, Mets manager, who actually never managed the game, mm -hmm. has lost his job today, Carlos Beltran, mm -hmm. because he was on the team and he was one of the players named in the reports. Um, there's new evidence stating that not only were they using the camera and trash can system, that's yeah. what I'm calling it anyway, <laughs> uh, they were also using like an old gambling technique where it was like almost Morris Code, where the players actually had pieces hooked up to them that they could tap into and <laughs> relay the signal crazy. that way. Now, hold on, Eric. I got, I got to ask you a question. I got to go, I got to go back for a second, right? <laughs> this whole, cause, cause I was kind of upset, you know what I'm saying, about them coming down on Carlos Beltran to the point where he had to step down from mm -hmm. his job just because he was a player at the time. Now, Beltran, it wasn't like he had no great playoff run that no. year. He wasn't hitting the, no. you know what I'm saying? So you would think that if somebody was using this and benefit, benefiting from it, it would have been one of the guys that was actually hitting. Well, yes and no. So the the trouble in the report is there's there's no way to identify who was using it and when they were using it. So Alex Cora was the mastermind. He was the one who actually set up the monitors. Okay. Um, and the reason that there's talk he's going to get the longest suspension was because after A.J. Hinch, the manager, found out about what they were doing, yeah. he didn't approve of it. He actually had broke monitors so they wouldn't do it again. And then Alex Cora went and bought more monitors and started doing it again. Oh so he's going to face probably a multi-year. So you're not multi -year, trying to be not cheating? Uh, yeah, right. So hold on, hold on for one second before you get into it because I, I want to just touch on that topic. Um, so Alex Cora is probably going to face the, the lengthiest suspension. Carlos Beltran, his name comes up in a report because even though he didn't benefit benefit from it stats wise, yeah, he was actually like the senior statesman on the on the in the clubhouse okay. who was kind of relaying the guy's information. So okay. he was kind of playing a middleman. Alex Cora was deciphering what he was seeing on camera. Beltran was the one relaying it to the players. Okay, and wow. he was the one guy that they could specify that was truly involved yeah players was a little tough because there were some guys who said yeah i tried it out for a few weeks and i didn't like it i thought it was a distraction mm -hmm. there was other guys who said i tried it then i stopped and i tried it again there were other guys who say i only tried it against specific pitchers who i knew i had trouble against so it was very tough to decipher who used it and for how long they used it mm. so all this cheating went on and they're not going to strip the title away from them they don't deserve that. Right now, they won't. It doesn't matter, though. Right now, they That's won't. That's the thing. It, does, it really they, doesn't. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you can't go back and you replay can't. those World right. Series. So realistically, what does stripping the titles do? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the one thing that I, I felt like they could have done in this situation to really punish the team, I, I think they, you know, let up on was the 
suspension of the draft picks right. because right. they only suspended them for 2020 and 2021. You know, I, I think at least five years right. from having yeah. draft picks just for the fact that even if you would strip them of the World Series, put right. an asterisk or whatever, it doesn't mean anything. $5 million is the largest fine in the history of baseball mm -hmm. by far. And it's like there's like a huge gap between right. the next highest suspension. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about a team and an owner that are worth billions of dollars, what is $5 million? You know what I'm saying? I always go back to the Cassidy line. I spend no. 100000 a year on white tees. That's, that's a, their white tee money. Right. That's a <laughs> low-level player right there. Yeah. $5 million is a guy who's probably coming off their bench anyway. Exactly. Um, you, uh, A lot of people feel you should strip the World Series. I agree with Tripp. You can't. Okay. What's done is done. You can never take back the feeling that that city and that team had when they won the World Series. Yeah. A lot of fans on Twitter think otherwise. Right. Well, they the can feel that way. Your team. Right. Yeah. They, they can feel that way, fans. but guess what? It's not as if... So, if, all right, one, and this is where it gets really tricky. If you were to strip the title, right. who does it go to? Yeah. The person they played in the World Series. Why well, wouldn't it go to a team they beat along the way in the playoffs that might have been good enough to win? Because yeah. they didn't earn their way there. But because they said, were cheating. Right, because they, <laughs> they lost cheated. to the Astros. Like, the but year, did they cheat in the World Series or they cheat and they all the way through and that's, the World Again, oh, that's, the, way, that's oh. the tough part. You, you would have to decipher where the cheating took place yeah. and where it benefited them, so right? You can't, so you can't Right, so there's no way. So how can you give it there's to There's no way, right. That means there's just going to be no chip. Year, no. That year they right. won the World Series. They beat the Yankees in seven games. Yeah. So who's to say the Yankees weren't good enough to win the World Series that year? Yeah. Right? They beat the Dodgers in the World Series. Who's to say the Dodgers? Like, who was the, the determining body to say this is who gets the title because we've stripped yeah. it from Houston? You can't, and then even if you do that, are we holding a parade two years later now yeah. for a team that might have won a World Series? Yeah. Like and then we're going to do it again the following year for the right. Red Sox, too. Right. And we're going to take that away. Books, like, right. you know? like, we're just going you know, yeah. to add them to the Yankees, to the Yankees belt. We'll take them. The, the court of public opinion <laughs> will determine how we feel about this team. If the Astros completely bottom out over the next five years, right. then we'll all say, you know what? They never deserved to win that championship. They weren't good enough. Mm -hmm. And we know another team should have won. If they maintain this level of success and they keep winning 100 games and being a playoff contender and a World Series contender, we yeah. will all sweep it under the rug and say, you know what, they were a pretty good team and the chances are they might have won it anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's no way to decipher it. Who knows they don't got a new system that's even better right now. Maybe they do. <laughs> so they keep it coming. Guess what? And I'm, and I'm sorry to break this news to a lot of people. The Red Sox had a system because they're in the report. Yeah. The Yankees had a system because they were in the report. Mm. And stealing signs in baseball is one of the unwritten rules where teams are okay with it as long as you don't take it to this type, this level of sophistication. Yeah. As long as it's you're okay not, when there's a guy on second. Right. When there's a guy on second who is looking into the catcher and he's stealing the signs and then yeah. he relays it to the third base coach. Or you tipping your pitches. Right. Or you tipping your pitches. Right. Or maybe a player who was on your team who knows the signs. Yeah. It's teams like, are okay with it. But when you set up a camera in center field looking in <laughs> and that camera is... With well, zoom lens and all. Right. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and to take it to another level, too... The 300 you know, millimeter out there. Right. To take it to another level, too, it's not as easy as people think. Right? There's a reason that the catcher's throwing down all those signs. It's so that you don't steal them. Yeah. Right. So... And every team has different different right. signs and so you switch it them up a lot. it takes you a while to learn what the signs yeah. are. Like, it's not like... First pitch of the game, oh, I already know what that is. Yeah. Like, you're not going to know. It takes you It takes you a couple outs within the game. Yeah. Right. It may take you three or four innings to figure out what the signs are. Yeah. So yeah. it's still tough to decipher how much did it help you. If if I'm throwing a 99-mile-per-hour fastball, right. just because you know it's coming, can you hit it? No. No. Right. And, that, I mean, and that's, that's the thing with, with steroids as well because you still got to be able right. to hit the baseball. Right. So. <laughs> how many times do you see a guy get a pitch right in the center of the plate, pop it up, and then he slams his back because he knew it was coming, yeah. but he couldn't yeah, do nothing true. with it? So there's no way to tell, yeah. like, if I know the sign mm -hmm. and it's a ball, am I supposed to swing? If, if I know it's a fastball but it's three feet above my head, am I just supposed to swing because I know what it is? No, yeah. I still got to take the pitch. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's, much, it's, 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 it's much more complex I know he's throwing behind the plate, but I'm going to still go for yeah, it. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's much more complex. It's not as simple as, oh, when, you, when it's done in football, that's completely different. Yeah. If I know what your receiver's routes are and I can set up my yeah, defense for that. completely different. Right. Whole other story. Right. But in baseball, it's so tough to even know. Like, yeah. I know the sign, but it could still be four straight balls. What am I doing with it? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't matter. So you can't strip it. You, yeah. There's no way. The Astros are the champs. Only thing we could do is if they fall I off, guess. then we'll criticize them a couple years from now. And but it is it. what it is. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think, like I said, the only thing that realistically that I think they could do would be to add 
couple of more years on to the to the draft picks that they use. Right. Because that's something that will hurt the team. Oh, it hurts them. The money completely. ain't going to do nothing to right. them. Shiver the championship ain't going to do nothing to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, honestly, if I'm them, I might even keep doing it again. <laughs> Shoot. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't going to lose my chips. I ain't going to lose, you know what I'm saying? Like, Listen, so. every team is trying to find an edge. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. not pretend like everyone just goes in a locker room and gives a spirited talk and that's it. Yeah, no. You're like, looking. there's a reason why guys on the sideline with tablets. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to find yeah. an edge. Listen. What, what are they showing us right here? That's why that when people talk off? about tipping pitches right. in the first place. Yeah, I want to see. Yo, if you're going to show me, I'm going to look. That's like, we, we got the space game going. <laughs> you got your cards up and I can see your cards. You damn right, I'm going to take a yeah, peek. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Why wouldn't I? Just like Uno. Yeah, you're right. going to show me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get that stack on right there, you know? <laughs> it's, it's like. Uh, Draw two. You, I'm yeah. sure you guys have seen it before. There's an old clip from uh, the year Cam Newton won the MVP, right? Okay. Where he audibles at the line of scrimmage, and the linebacker calls the play, and Cam Newton looks right at the guy and goes, oh, you've been watching film. Mm. <laughs> so it's so easy to catch someone. Right. Yeah. yeah. If you watch enough film, you're going to pick up on the tendencies. You're going to pick up on the signals. Yeah. He throws right 60% right. of the time. They know right. already. 30% is going to be play action. So, but, you know. <laughs> I think this is a combination of, yeah, they, they took it to a certain level that other teams didn't take it to. Right. But it's also a level of hating as well. Like, you have enough success, someone's going to want to knock you off. Simple yeah. as that. And again, look at the teams that are named in the report. They're probably the three most successful teams over the last five to ten years. True. The Astros, the Red Sox, the Yankees. Ain't, ain't nobody stealing signs from the Florida Marlins. <laughs> nobody worried about stealing no signs from the Marlins. Yeah, no, it's probably just, you know, when you're playing to get some top teams <laughs> that you, you, know, right. you might struggle with. Right. It, it ain't no, it, the, just can't get caught. Well, obviously, we know that. Obviously, you, get, right. get, you get caught, you might get a lifetime ban, depending on what you're doing out there. Right. So we sh we, we'll we see what's going to happen with with, uh, with, with Cora. Um, but, you know, as far as the rest of those guys, you know, hopefully, you know, they'll be they'll be back, you know, for their sake. I know they got I families to feed. I don't know, man. pretty much over. Man, but, Mets need a manager, man. We, <laughs> they got, they, didn't they get somebody well, else? They, there's rumors of, of a guy coming up now, but... I mean, we, we're about a month and a half from pitches and catches report. We need now, all right, let me ask you yeah, this question, spring right? Training's coming up. Now, say if, yeah, if Beltran would have been there, let's say this game didn't come out until next year, and Beltran is there this whole season, and they win the World Series, and it comes out that they were stealing signs, are you still going to support that championship? That the Mets were stealing signs? Yeah, and they won the World Series this yes, year. Yes, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care what anybody okay. said. Uh, you can yeah, say listen, whatever you want. As a fan of the team, you like, that's what listen, I say. Like, we don't care, stop. like, as a fan of the First team. First of all, let's stop this. Like, we don't, listen, we care about the players, <laughs> but we don't. Who's, your, we who's your favorite basketball player, CJ? LeBron James. LeBron, right? So if LeBron shoots 6 for 25 tomorrow night, you don't care why he shot 6 for 25. You mad that he shot 6 for 25. Yeah. Now, if it comes out later on that his wife, Savannah, been stressing him out, about some money that's missing from the account. <laughs> you ain't gonna care that he was stressed out. You just mad that he went six, six for twenty five in the game. Word. Exactly. So that's guess what? You what? Win me a championship. We figure out everything else later. Uh, I don't okay. care about that. <laughs> that's a fact. Um, like it, it is what it is. We don't care. As fans of teams, we do not. You think the care. Patriots giving back them first couple Super Bowls? No. Why would they? <laughs> Forget nope. The Patriots, yeah. I'm just saying. You, you, you think is Tom Brady gonna be like I'm not the goat no more? Nope. Right. He <laughs> he keep his stature. Win is a win. Whatever. Yeah. But 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 you know he was down with them the play in them damn footballs. <laughs> so. Win is a win. Nobody remembers a loser. Yeah. Nope. At the end of the right. day, no matter a what you did, it, you won the championship. That's it. In the history books, it's gonna say the Astros won it in 2017. That's the it. Red Sox won it in 2018. Right. You can have your opinion about it. That's it. But it is what it is. They had a parade. They drank champagne, and, and they was, living it up. Yeah. All right. And that was that, That's <laughs> it. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Hey. Come on, the camp. Uh huh. This is Hi, Real man. Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real